Adecker's Starfield is fully released and the mods keep on coming. So we've got the full mod guide out there. If you want a link to that, check the description below. But this is all about whether it's worth installing those mods and how they look against the stock version, each other, and also Xbox Cloud Gaming. Now for my settings overall through each of my mods and even the stock version, these are my settings. So render scale at 70%. Everything else on low with upscaling on FSR 2 and sharpening at 70% with film grain intensity and depth filled off. Now it is worth remembering that if you are using the mods, when you have your graphics preset, you need to change off and back onto the low preset for it to fully take effect. So if you're not seeing those changes, make sure you've done that. So you can see here when we have a ship stationary, it's hard to see all of them together. As we go side by side with the stock and the Xbox Cloud Gaming, there is quite a difference there. And the mod with and without shadows, not a huge amount of difference when we're looking directly here. But when we bring them full screen, we'll see a big difference in that frames per second. So with the stock version here, with the ship just landed on the planet, we're getting around 24 frames per second. With the mod with just the shadows and the compression, we're getting 27 frames per second. And with the mod with no shadows at all, and the compression were around 29, 30 frames per second. And of course, Xbox Cloud Gaming has the 30 frames per second capped. And it does generally run at a higher quality overall. So again, putting them back side by side, there isn't a huge amount of difference graphics wise. But in a lot of sections, we still get some big dips regardless of what those settings are. And I see this on the PC as well. Especially as we were coming down here in the Vanguard mission, there was some big loading spikes. But again, graphic fidelity really does look good across the board. Now on stock, this did dip under 20 frames per second very briefly with some of those loading spikes. And as you can see, it bounces between 20 and 30 quite often. With the shadows on with the other mods, again, it does dip low into the 20s, but it does stay a fair amount higher and still looks very good. With the mod with no shadows, pretty much the same as mod with the shadows, though it does stick a little bit higher and does break 30 occasionally. And Xbox Cloud Gaming holds that 30 frames per second a lot clearer without any of the granulation or pixelation that we're seeing on the FSR on the local versions. Now doing the same thing, looking at the actual quality as we come down through here, it's very difficult to see a difference between the stock and the mod shadows version. And the same with mod and no shadows. This is very subtle still, but we do see that things are generally quite a lot brighter on the no shadows version. And Xbox Cloud Gaming just looks so much clearer. So. If you do have good internet, then Xbox Cloud Gaming is a great way to be playing this. And hopefully we'll see some other cloud services get this soon as well. When we come and look at the NPC, we start to see a lot of those graphical differences quite a bit more clearly. Between the stock and the mod with no shadows, there is a huge brightness difference and quality on the shadows of the face. The mod with the shadows actually looks slightly overdone with some of the extra changes. But if we put the stock and no shadows version close up, we see quite a lot more pixelation on the actual character model themselves, but we will see higher frames per second. And again, the mod with no shadows and the mod with shadows, we just see that darkness, obviously a lot better with the shadow version, but that pixelation is the same between them. And actually when we compare it to Xbox Cloud Gaming, although xCloud is a bit smoother, there's not a huge graphical difference. Now, when a lot of stuff starts happening in combat, this is where we really start to see some of those differences. And sometimes resolution scaling goes a little bit over the top, which is what you'll see here with the stock version. Again, dipping down sub 20 frames per second with all of the laser effects going off. And it really does look very fuzzy. So although it is playable with stock, it doesn't feel fantastic. And we get the same over pixelation, slightly more or worse with the mod with the shadows. This really did get very grainy and it does hold around the mid 20s, although it does dip very low. And in the mod with no shadows, it stays much higher. We don't see the granulation and pixelation as much, but obviously we do lose out on some of that shadow effect. And things generally are a lot brighter around the light as it doesn't have the shadows to counter. In Xbox Cloud Gaming, we barely get any pixelation at all and it's extremely clear moving around, but it is at the price of streaming. If you put them side by side with the Shadows mod, you will really see that pixelation kick in, and it's very difficult to see a difference between the two, as that FSR really is working extremely hard to keep those frames per second up. And with no shadows, 
we do definitely see better quality overall against the stock version and it actually is quite difficult to see the difference with the shadows not being there but unfortunately when we put it side by side with the xbox cloud it definitely is a huge graphical difference there and it's not for everyone overall the mod with shadows definitely is giving the best overall experience there are still some sections that are really over bright when you are using this mod especially in some of the shops but it does only last a few seconds generally and if you leave an area and come back it generally sorts itself out but there are a few sections that do either go a bit too bright or too dark in certain circumstances but it's a small price to pay for a much more stable frame rate and i do highly recommend it now we do have the full guide to install all of these mods or the combination that will work best for you in the comments and description below let us know in the comments below if you're going to be running this with mods or whether you're going to be streaming it from pc or cloud so you can get your Starfield fix. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.